Welcome to my channel. This is Mario Lloyd, also known as Real Estate Guru PK. On this channel, we talk about my real estate endeavors. We also have the top real estate producers and the top entrepreneurs in the country. Be sure to click the link below with Justin P with his Support Black Colleges marketing course. Also with Jason White's Crack the Code affiliate link, click that below as well. Also to support the channel, Weeble and One Finance, Chase Discover Robinhood and Public a stock trading app. We hope you enjoyed this episode. This is Real Estate Guru PK signing up. How y'all doing? We got another special guest. What's going on? What's going on? Got returning BAM CEO. What's good? What's good? How you doing, man? Doing good. So I've been out here for like a year and a half in Houston, so that's good so far. Well, so what, what's different from Houston? Uh, rather, you came from Philly, right? Yeah. So what's the difference? <laughs> Uh, see, the difference in Philly and Houston, I feel like Houston is, is more with, like, open arms. So you got a lot of people that's, like, 1% from where they come from. So, you know, no matter, like, if you came from, like, a, you know, if it's challenging or, you know, you thinking outside the box. So, like, every every person out here, they come into network. They come in to win. So that's the kind of, like, the difference is, like, when you're coming from, like, your, your own city, a lot of people be kind of, like, trapped in. But it's, like, when you're in Houston, it's, like, 1% from everybody in each city come down here to try to network or elevate. So that's pretty much the, uh, the difference. And I feel like Philly is a little, it's fast. So it's, like, it's, you know, you got your corner store here you got it's like everything everything all you need is right here mm. you know in houston you know you may go you may travel a lot you know it's 30 minutes 40 minutes to go somewhere so that's kind of like the little difference between like that and you know the southern hospitality everybody treats you great so that's pretty much really like the difference from uh philly to houston pretty much so do you like ever miss houston i mean uh philly I like miss you go back? so yeah I I do miss Philly a lot uh due to the you know um just like your upbringing you know where you come from and what you used to you you always going to miss it because that's that's been my whole life since 21 years old so it's like I always miss you know I came out here by myself so you know I just woke up and said I want to move to Houston I uh, came out here travel one time and that's what I did so of course, I miss everything, family, uh, friends, all that. But, you know, food, you know, you know, you're so used to having the same food since you was a kid. So it's like you come out here, it's like you kind of have to adjust differently from everything. So that's probably like the hardest part. And that's why I feel like a lot of people like they they have a hard time doing that. That's why they always go back to their home, their hometown. So why Houston out of all places? So was, the crazy thing is the reason why I came to Houston is really because of uh, BR. So BR, the CEO, is probably like the major reason why I came out to Houston. Um, because me and him, we was, uh, when I actually first got into the credit game, BR was probably like the first person I actually connected with um, through Instagram. Um, so I had paid like Bayman Kevo for a promo. Mm -hmm. So when I paid Bayman Kevo for a promo, he had uh, followed me, reached out to me. And then like we've been tapped in. We had each other. And I mean, this is literally like the second month of me actually in business. I've been talking to BR since So, you know, he started his car rental business I started my car rental business And we've been connecting with each other So it was one time he was like, man, I need some help uh, we should actually like grow out Houston, and I actually went to Houston one time. We rented out the uh, the lamb truck, and we rented out the cars, and I'm like, yeah, this home, I gotta mm -hmm. come. So that's when I just actually like went to Houston, pretty much. That's why I said Houston, out of everything. I like I like Cali, I like Miami, but Houston just give you the it's it's all in one. So how much was that promo for Batman Kevo? I paid two hundred dollars. That's it. Two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Was it worth it? Did it was worth it. The reason why it was worth it is because yeah, he didn't give me all. He didn't give me the followers, but he gave me the the connections. Because it was if it wasn't from Batman Kevo me doing that promo, I would have never met Br. Um, I, I actually when I first started, I had I was working under someone from uh, a credit repair company in New York. So I was literally driving from Philly to New York, mm. literally just like working under under somebody. And he was just sending me all his clients, and I was doing credit repair. And he found me from Bandman Kevo. Mm. So it was like me paying him for promo. I kind of like really like expanded a lot. A lot of people started knowing who I was. So then I started making like viral videos right after that, and a lot of people started flooding me. Uh, all social media, TikTok and Instagram. So it definitely is worth. It definitely was worth it for me. Do you do you still pay for uh, promo? 
So okay. I don't I don't pay for promo. And that's like the biggest thing that I always tell people from um I always tell people and I I, I came to that realization as well. It I actually like sat down like last month and I was like Oh, I need to start doing exactly what I used to be doing. Mm -hmm. Right. So like when I was growing and I was really expanding to like uh, the next level and where I went from not having nothing to six figures. And now I'm trying to get from six figures to seven figures. I realized that, oh, you got to you got to do everything that you used to do when you first started. So now I don't I, I stopped doing promo, but now I'm back in action of actually start using promo, start doing everything that I used to do when I first started. So a lot of people I always tell people, like, don't forget what you used to do when you actually grew from where you was at to where you at now so promo is definitely in the works running ads i never really ran ads but that's in the works as well too so um so you from philly right yep what, what's you um how to how to what's the difference between philly girls and houston girls all right <laughs> <She> see like... <laughs> i tell you this now see the <laughs> the difference between philly girls and houston girls i will say because i actually was in a relationship when i came out of houston okay. um so one thing i will say philly girls are more like they're definitely rough so they they definitely rough but it's more like someone that want to see you really win like they want to bring the best out of you um but they are rough they're very rough so what like by rough like I'm, when i hear rough i hear masculine masculine they're very oh, masculine okay. so <laughs> the women of the women up north in general are are very, are very masculine like so new like york, like new york girls yes new york philly jersey delaware they all have this type of like straight to the full straight yeah straight yeah. Four, not scared to tell you to correct yourself like you you need it's like someone like your mom like your mom is never scared to tell you yo stop doing this stop yeah, doing this yeah, stop doing yeah. this like when up north they really like very serious on that and that's why like they very genuine um and they won't do anything to, i wouldn't say don't do anything but like they they kind of like know not to do the crazy things that some people do in Houston. Mm -hmm. So what they I will say is like someone out in Houston, they they definitely they definitely have like the southern hospitality. They do treat you nice. Like they make you feel they they very feminine. So that's the difference. Like a lot of girls up north are very masculine. And a lot of girls down here are very feminine. So mm -hmm. that's the only really big difference. But I will say Tell South, they do move a little crazy. What you mean by that? What's <laughs> so what I say is, um, they 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 do a lot of things to like because I will say not down down South period like the men are kind of like tender, right? <laughs> so like they kind of like are more like. <laughs> they 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 treat like women a certain like at a at a certain pedestal. Okay. Like 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 a man's supposed to feel like I'm this is who I am. Like yeah. I'm a man. Yeah. Like I feel like down here they kind of treat the woman like at like a top tier position okay. to where like the women kind of get their way a lot down here so it's like they kind of will go out with a man and then go out with and and be, go to the same place that they went with the other person yeah, yeah. the next day yeah. have a whole boyfriend and still be out places and still and then telling him to be quiet like they it's like the women run it run down here pretty much that's how i look at it <laughs> <laughs> seriously that's how i look at it i haven't experienced i haven't experienced that when I I see that all the time, oh, for real? all the time, because it's like you know I look at it and I just feel like because they just they just yeah they got they they got it down here <laughs> they got it they could do they could do what they want you know a lot of men down here have a lot of money as well mm -hmm. so like they kind of like on to the next um, like it's 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 like oh I don't need you. Oh, you do it? Oh, I don't need you. I can go to him. I can go to him. I can go to him. It's, it's just like an ongoing cycle. They feel like they can always get something better. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, it's just, it's like. Isn't all that over. how men move too, though? It is how men move. It's, it it's how, how men move too. Men definitely move like that a lot. But when women move like that, it kind of like gives like a, 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 it's like, it's not good. Poor. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. It's not good because certain things. It's you know. It's certain things that men men do that women can't do, and it's certain things that what, women do what, that men what, can. What do. What age bracket is this? Is because last time we talked, you said you like older women. So is this like older women? It's all over. It don't all matter. Everywhere? It don't matter. Okay. It's the same. It's the same. Like I've realized, like it don't matter as long so as you, they. You, you dated women in their thirties. 
I dated a woman in the thirties. Okay. I, but the last relationship that I was in, she was twenty five. Five. You're twenty two. Twenty two. Okay. Yeah. So okay. she was twenty five, but okay. you know, I, I dealt with it. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's that's from experience and a lot of a lot of stuff like that. You kind of see like, okay, I was in a relationship from here, and I was in a relationship down here. I kind of really see like the difference in it to where it was like, uh, this. Okay, I got a rule awakening down here pretty much. But, you know, it's all everything is all about experiencing bettering yourself pretty much. That's so, how I look at it. Um, why did that relationship end? Uh, the relationship ended because, you know, it's all about... I feel like the relationship really ended... Um, if I'm being honest, uh, I feel like I just wasn't respected enough. You know, like, you know, you just and then I, I kind of dealt with a lot of stuff that I wasn't supposed to only because it was like, you know, I'm working all the time. I don't have time to even think or argue or try to go back and forth because I got to wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Seven in the morning, I got to wake up. Mm -hmm. Fun time. It's we in the 20s. You know, they say have fun in your 20s, have fun in your 20s. I'm a type of person, I don't want to have fun in my 20s. Why? Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to get successful. I want to be someone where I can actually, instead of us having fun in Houston, let's go to a country and enjoy ourselves and party there. Let's have fun in different countries. That's what was my mindset. So it was like, she wasn't trying to stay down. So a lot of people, you know, which is, I, I don't... I don't have no hate, no disrespect to her, but you know, it's just all depending on like I just wasn't the right person for you because you wasn't look you wasn't willing to stay down. Mm -hmm. You wasn't willing to, you know, go through trial and error. Like you just it just wasn't working pretty much. So um she felt that and she ended up doing doing what they she wasn't supposed to be doing. <laughs> so you're saying she she wanted to be outside. She wanted to be outside. Oh, okay. She wanted to be outside. She wanted to have fun. She wanted to live a a, a young twenties life that they market that you should not be doing, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And enjoy yourself. Have fun. You're in your twenties. Little stuff like that. Mm -hmm. No, if you really want to, we all have dreams and aspirations that we want in life. So why not chase that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's my fun. My fun is waking up every day and working and doing what I need to do. Mm -hmm. You find that passion that you want, it's not going to feel like work. So they look, she, they'll look at me like as I'm working, but I'm looking like this is my life. Mm -hmm. They don't, they don't have, some people don't have, they didn't unlock that. People stop their dreams. Did she have a job? Yeah, she, she had a job. She had a job. <laughs> she had a job. What'd she do? She was a bottle girl. Oh. oh, see, so that, you would uh, wife about a girl. <laughs> I would, but so uh, all right, let's let's put it all on the table. Let's put it <laughs> on the table, right? So when I my what happened was is me growing up and me seeing being around women all all my life. You know, I I grew up my my dad he been incarcerated since I was young, so I always grew up around females, mm -hmm. right? So since I was young, mm -hmm. so you know. I gravitate to people who who act like my mom, mm. right? So I once w once I find that the like people that kind of gravitate to who who how my mom did. My mom always cooked. My mom always made sure I was okay. She always got the soft spot in me. It's very hard for for females to even get a soft spot in me. So once I once you unlock that with me, I kind of fall in a trap. It's like I forget who you are. I forget what's going on. I kind of forget because I I kind of get blind because it's like damn, you're kind of doing what my mom is doing, right? So like. That's what kind of really what it was. Um, and then, you know, sometimes, you know, you get to a point. I'm new to I'm new to Houston. I never really went outside since I was a kid. Like I, I always was playing sports, doing, you know, it's just like I never really went outside. I came out here, I was 21 years old. Um, I didn't really didn't I didn't really didn't know nothing. Mm. So I was like, okay, let me give it a shot. It was winter time. It's cold, you know, everybody in the house. So I'm like, why not? So, you know, me and my me and my friend, he had his girlfriend, I had my girlfriend. We was just doing a lot of double D and then that's when I kinda it just got serious. And it went left after that. So how long so y'all was together for like you said two years? We was together since February. No, not together, but we've been together, like we've been talking since February, and we've been together since April. So it'd been like April to like September. April to like September and right before like her birthday is when things went left. Did she want you to buy a lot of stuff for her birthday? The crazy thing is, right? Mm. I bought her stuff for her birthday. It wasn't enough. It was enough. It was enough. It was what happened. 
what what kind of like went left you know <laughs> so looking back do you think the fact that she was about a girl could have told you maybe everything that happened if that makes sense like- um yes but no um because i dated nurses mm. i dated doctors they all do the same thing so it's not really it's just that it's just more it's just the chances they're not they're not hot in who they are yeah, yeah, it's really right, what right. it is they're just not hot in who they are and that's where kind of be like okay but you know i don't, I don't want to put it how this is what i would say right and i'm a, this is my theory okay right um i feel like a lot of women are in denial of who men are <laughs> And I feel like men are not are men are not in the now who women are. So who who what are men? Who are what, what so does that mean? a lot of a lot of women <laughs> say that men are not, right? They say that they're not nothing. They're they're dogs, right? Okay. They're 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 not <laughs> the women are in the now are saying that men are not dogs, but then when they have when they show you that they're a dog, then you say, Oh, men not this, men not this, men not this. But it's like you're in the now. You should already know that. You you went in a relationship with him for five years, seven years, and it's like it, and then it's like you gotta kinda like figure out what level of bre- text break or men that you want. Mm. Because the more money he get, the more likely he's gonna be able to cheat. The more likely he's gonna cheat. It's just that's just how the game go because it's like every woman want that one percent men, and once that man get one percent, he have so many options. Yep. He can turn down fifty, he can turn down hundred, but can he turn down two thousand? So as 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 a, as a man who's on his way to the one percent, mm-hmm. you don't see yourself being with one woman. Like- I would love to be with one woman, but I would love to be with one woman. I would love to be faithful. But I also would say that I'm a man at the end of the day. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what I would hey, say. So, 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 I was gonna wanted to how, how fire are your DMs? Um, my DMs are crazy. They crazy? Yeah, my DMs are crazy. Um, so women actually shoot their shot all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time, and then. It, 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 it's, it's to the point where women shoot their shot to me to the point where I don't even be wanting to shoot my shot at girls no more. Mm. I just like That's pretty deep. much like even like let's just say I go to a lounge, a girl will kind of put like a heart on the receipt or put her number. Mm. You know, like probably like two weeks ago, I was with uh, I was with um, one of my one of my mentors, and a girl actually uh, a, a man came over to me and said some girl. Uh, some some my friend wants you and basically like this her number, and I'm looking like where is she at? <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, it gets stuff like that to the point where it be like it be crazy like a lot a lot of girls shoot they shot and then you know I'm in the entrepreneur field so like uh, women they kind of like say it like a, a different type of way to try to come at me but it's like I kind of know you trying to come at me mm-hmm. so that they try like a like t- book a con- consultation with me or mm-hmm. you know send me like DMs or little stuff but kind of be like let's connect or let's meet up or something like that but knowing down the earth is like okay you really want me mm-hmm. so that's how I, that's really how I go all the time it's pretty true. much so Do you see yourself getting married <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love to get married. Let's say that. Yeah. I would love to get married, but the thing is, it's like in this world that we live in right now in a society, it's about what's what is being marketed. Mm. Like what is marketing right now? Marketing is not being in a relationship. Marketing is exactly. doing yourself. Marketing it, that's what is is shown all over, right? So that's the only problem that I'm having right now, right? The reason why the murder rates in every city went up is because of the music industry, Mm. because of the movies that we see, right? It's all all the entertainment run United States, Mm. right? So, and everybody know that. So if being, if women now, they're marketing and everything to talk to multiple dudes. If this dude not buying you Gucci, Louis, Prada, leave him. Talk to somebody else. Talk to his friend. Talk to his co- like it's is it's what's 
entertainment right now. So in entertainment, that's why the marriages percentages is very low. That's why a lot of people are are getting divorced. Like a lot of stuff with, in relationships is going down. And the murder rate, everybody in the video shoots are showing guns. They're showing this. They're marketing. So ever since Chief Keith came out, ever since those people came out that started showing guns and little stuff like that, everybody in video shoots show guns. Mm -hmm. Everybody in, now, ever since that, every murder rate been going up mm -hmm. ever since 2014, 2015. The murder rate have never been as high in Philadelphia since Chief Keith came out. Mm -hmm. Since Chief Keith came out and since COVID came out, it's been at an all time high for every city. It's not even just mm -hmm. Philadelphia. It was Houston. Houston, when the first year that I came down, it was about almost 500 murders just due to COVID and it due to what's being in entertainment. So, me being married, I would love to be married, but. <sighs> They 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 they're training women right now to to not settle. Mm. Life is all about settling. Your woman might not be the perfect woman, but you have to settle down with her. Mm. They're teaching people to not settle down. Mm. So they teaching people if he's not perfect, leave him. If she's not perfect, leave her. That's not how it's supposed to go. You got to settle down. You she can't she can't be all she she can't be a ten on everything. Mm -hmm. He cannot be a 10 at everything. If he have a little bit of problems, so be it. Or you're going to be desperate for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, they're just not ready to settle down. And I, I'm willing to settle down. That's why, I, you see, I settled down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what she was doing, but I was willing to settle down. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are not willing to settle down. That's why it's, the marriage and everything is always going to go left. But I would love to be married. Would you, would you be in a, in a polygamy relationship? What that mean? Like multiple wives. Ah. <laughs> um. No, I wouldn't. I the only reason why I wouldn't is because me, I like to go all in with everything that I'm doing, and I know I can't go all in with multiple wives. Right. So like that would be probably like the only problem uh, that I, that I, I would say. But no, nah, I would. I really wouldn't do that. That's that. I feel like that's too much, you know. But. It's just too much. <laughs> too much. I know people that are, you know, a couple, of, you know, I, you know, I, com I come from Philadelphia, so you know, a lot of people are Muslim, so a lot of people do have multiple my wives, but I, I don't think I could do that. Okay. But you said, you know, men are men, and you know, you would might have a hard time being faithful. So mm -hmm. why not just have multiple wives? Okay. So what one thing that I will say is, I will. Uh, I, Mm. <laughs> because it, it, it got to be one thing that sparked me from one woman that can make me really go all in mm. right with that person so i feel like if i see another woman it really not it's really like okay you cool you've that's why i say i'm a i'm a, I'm a man at the end of the day so like sometimes if i see a woman i'll be like wow she's beautiful mm. but then i'll know like damn we may never have nothing in the future ever ever so it's being able to do the bare minimum with the side chicks. I, I don't even want to. I don't like the. It's not even pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. As long as I because uh, people don't understand. It's a test. Mm -hmm. a, a woman going to be like, I got to get the most I can out of her. And a man going to be like, I got to I got to figure out a way to finesse as much as I can just to get what I want. We, we all come in at the end goal to get what we want. Mm -hmm. Right. At the end of the day, who can get it first? Mm -hmm. That's how I go. It's a cold world. It's a cold world, but that's how I go. Because if a man, no disrespect, if a man get what he want first, watch how he act afterwards. He lost. <laughs> she's done. He's, he's gonna be like, <laughs> he's barely gonna text her anymore. He's he's not gonna do. He's he's not gonna put that forth ever no more because he won. Mm. He won a game. It's all a game. Everything is all a game. That's free game, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all a game, no matter what it is. That's why you know, woman. You know, if they can keep which is called quote unquote milking him as much as he can, she's not even gonna like him. Mm. She like I don't really like him, but like I know he he gonna come through. He gonna do whatever I want. He's gonna give me all this. He gonna give me all that. And I and I ain't even doing. And well, mm -hmm. the man gonna be like, man, it was easy. She thinks she about to get this. Oh no! But when you, when you first when you first meet, her, it's all a game. That's so is it? Is. is there such thing as waiting too long? Like yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Can we can, waiting too long is crazy. I feel like waiting too long is crazy only because it's like. Um, we kind of know what type of person, like, you kind of feel for that person, like, once you start 
really having a conversation where you, you you know you can you can read signs you can feel the energy you can know if this person is a good person or this person is a bad person so it's like why wait what's your like five qualities that you want in a woman um respectful that's number one that's number one you gotta be very respectful mm. um because you know i can't have you in rooms and you, you know, you're disrespecting me, mm. right? I can't, you know, someone opening the door and you just not saying thank you, little stuff like that. You know, it, you gotta be respectful. Um, one, another thing, I really don't ask for much, right? Um, I, all I really want a woman to do for me is really just, you know, be there for me. Really, just be there for me at all times because, you know, in this entrepreneur world stuff can get rough mm -hmm. right one day you know you just may you may feel like you're not doing enough right i got a life too you know family members family like little stuff like that is like i go through all the time mm -hmm. right and you know like you may you i may need you a lot you know when i'm coming here i need you to give me give me some ideas like you i just I, you just gotta have my back at all times mm. and when i'm saying have my back at all times that means it's a lot of stuff that you may have to have my back on right being able i can be able to call you and and ask you hey how you feel about this content video that i just did mm. you you like it if you feel uninterested whoa we out of here we out of here Right. You, I can't I can't hang. I can't be showing you videos of what I'm trying to do to make to, to get to the next level. You're not even interested. So she got to be like your number one fan. She got to be my number one fan. Okay. You got to be here for me to, you know, because the things that I'm going to do for you is based off of what I'm doing in my life. Mm. I'm trying to um and be a great listener. Got to be a great listener. Right. Because I don't I don't ask for much. But when I need when I when I'm asking you for stuff and I need you. Oh, I get I get angry. Mm. I get angry because it's like I don't ask for much, and you know I'm just asking for the loose things, and you know you're not doing it for me. So that's pretty much that's that's really like the main couple things that you know I value a lot. Um, you don't have to be the cutest. You don't have to be. That's that comes with a lot as well. So I'd rather you know just be there for me, have my back. That's really that's really what an actual man want. He wants you to have his back at all times. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Had my back, y'all. <laughs> so she don't have to be the cutest. So no, she don't have to be the cutest. But I would love a beautiful woman, mm. right? <laughs> I don't, and what do you mean by stuff come with that? Um, well, like having my back. I uh, guess well, the the, the uh, if she's too beautiful. Like, she's too pretty. because she she gonna always feel as though like she has options. Mm. That's why I feel like I feel like she's just gonna always feel like she got options, right? So like it, it, that's just it's just you know how you know what they say light skinned girls are bougie. Mm. They always say that light skinned girls are bougie. Light skinned men is bougie. Oh, you just feel like you can do this and you can do that. I mean, it sucks, but it's like I feel like I can. But mm. that's how men feel when they got money. I, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, that's why I don't like when people say, "Oh, you acting light skin." Because when they say you acting light skin, it's like, "Okay, well, rappers rap, the rappers act the same way I act." Right, right. You can't say I'm acting light skin cuz they acting light skin now. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I look at it. Stop saying I'm light skin, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, man. Life life is tricky, man. And I, I, it's a lot. It's a lot going through it. But like I was saying, man, you know, men are not really in denial of... Um, one thing I will say is that women are in, emotional. That's just who they are. That's, that's, that's you know, men are more logic. Mm. So, like, you know, me going through and understanding, like, a woman can wake up one day and be like, I don't feel like I'm good enough for you. Mm. And make a bad decision, make an emotional decision that may tr that may turn everything off, right? Men are not in denial of women, so that's why men kinda don't be in a relationship with them. Damn, I, damn, I really, really love her. I might really like her a lot, but she he may feel like ah, she may break one time, she may crack. So that's why men don't like being in a relationship with women. Cause they they got their heart broken when he was in eighth grade, ninth grade. But he he understood the he understood the assignment. So that's that's why some people be like, oh no, you talking about something that when you got your heart broken in seventh grade and eighth grade. But it's like he remember it. And then you talking about all girls are not the same. Yes, all girls not are, are not the same, but all girls are emotional. So it's like okay, um, someone may not say someone may not put you in that position where. You had to make an emotional decision mm. yet 
or ever. You may pass away and still have never reached that point, but it could have been a chance where you could have. Mm-hmm. So that's just how, that's why I always tell people, like, well, I ain't do this, or a girl be like, well, I ain't do this, or I ain't do that, or I never did this, or I never cheated on my boyfriend and did that, or did this. It was like, okay, that's cool, but because you never, it never got to that point yet to where it puts you and make you an emotional decision. You know, a lot of people do a lot of bad things off emotions. Mm. My 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 father, he's incarcerated right now off emotions. Mm. A lot of people, they set their homies up, friends up off emotions. Everything is all off. Anything that comes with a, a huge problem is off emotions. Women are emotional. So it's like sometimes you kind of like, men are not in denial for that. So that's why they kind of really don't be in relationships. That's my theory. Mm-hmm. And women are not, and women are in denial who men are. So that's why women get their heart broken. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You know, as a woman myself, you know, we just get caught up in our emotions sometimes. We're, we we don't see no red flags. <laughs> we don't mm-hmm. see no red flags. But men, they can see the red flags, I feel like, almost right away. Right away. But we, we, we ignore them, too, so... Right away, and we ignore them too mm. because we look at the beauty. This we look at how you're making me feel sometimes mm. too. So we kind of get, but then we be like, oh, 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 let's get too far there. Hold I on. feel like men <laughs> men ignore red flags not because of emotion, but because of what's in between their legs. Definitely, definitely, that's definitely that's definitely true. <laughs> it's, it's true, um, because m- men and that and that's where that's where men go wrong at. And that's why men are not as successful as they are as they used to be now, because they value getting between the legs and focusing on their life. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's why. So a lot of people, you know, when I told people that I went two months without having sex to focus on my dreams, people looked at me like I was crazy. Mm. And I was like, I would have never got I would never got to this point. Why people women women to this day always tell me that my communication is bad. I'm focusing on my dreams right now. I can't, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not, I'm just not horny, y'all. I'm not as horny to try to, you know, go out, take you out and do all this. I got real dreams in life. And I feel like the real reason why men are not successful as they are now, because they thinking about, they go on Instagram and be on Instagram for four to five hours, liking girls' pictures, commenting, DMing them and focusing on them and taking them out and, and, and just giving and pouring all into the woman. Nothing is bad about that. But come on, man, you got to... Is, is, is other things to do in life You gotta be successful In order for you to keep The woman happy You gotta focus on yourself I feel like a lot of people Are not Are not having No self development right now mm-hmm. They're always focusing On something else mm. They focus on Everything else But self development Right They not even understanding Who they are I had to go to that point I found myself When I When I basically was like Forget all this I started going to the gym I started Watching YouTube videos I started paying attention oh let me start cooking let me start cleaning more self-development people can't even do things now without other people they always need somebody else i post free information on instagram every single day and guess what they do they hop in my dms and ask me for more information i just gave you all my information and then you're going to get mad that i told you now you got to pay me because I just gave you all the free information just now. Mm-hmm. So I feel like a lot of people are, fig- <laughs> they, United States are making people lazy right now. And people mm-hmm. are not even understanding this. They're creating AIs. They're creating to make you lazy. Mm-hmm. They're, and then they're going to, and then they're firing people every day. Mm-hmm. They're firing every day. And then y'all becoming more lazy. So now, and then they're raising the prices, gas prices. Everything is getting high. They, they y'all getting fired and they making y'all lazy. Mm. Y'all not even willing to get up to learn a trade or anything. That is not doing is not doing good at all. I you know, people are not willing to watch videos. People don't read no more. Okay, a lot of people, okay, reading is not a thing, but you gotta be willing to take risks. People are scared to take risks now. Mm. Why? Because people go to school and they and then the mother always tell them to go to college. Mm. Right? Let me tell you why I don't like college. Because college teaches you how to work for people. You all this school, all that is a system. It teaches you how to learn a specific piece of information t- for them to run you. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. They don't want you to learn to get outside the box. Why do you think they're not teaching us credit? Why do you think they're not teaching us all this other piece of information in these different trades? They're telling you to go to college for your first year. Your first year of college, you're not learning nothing. You're not learning. You're learning. It's 13th. That's 13th grade. That is not college. 
Your freshman is not college. Then you start focusing on your real major, like your soft or your junior year. Mm -hmm. It's like you're not really learning. And then the pieces of information is not giving you the value of how to own something. If you understand majority of the people that are successful are the C students. They're the ones that's that that got the effort to take risks. When you got the A students and the A plus students, they're the ones that's scared to take the risks. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they are always trying to think, they always trying to overanalyze something. The A students always trying to overanalyze and they never put action onto it. The C student, which is me, I'm gonna get out there and I'm like, okay, I think I learned enough, so now I'm about to take action. That A plus student that's in college right now, they never they not gonna take they're not gonna take the fourth step to even do it. Why? Because the United States trains you to not do it anyway. But you got the C students that barely come to school, that barely doing this. And he like, man, I feel like the school system is just not it. I feel like, and guess what? Those are always the ones that, that get successful. Why? Because they start figuring out self-development. Mm. You're not, you're not, you're not figuring yourself out when you're in school. You're not. You ain't eight, you in eight, you you in school for eight hours a day, and you all talking with friends, and you're doing all this, and you leave school, you may have a job. So now you're working a job when you got time to even focus on yourself. Never, you don't. So that's why the school system is not good. That's how I look at it. It's all a scam, y'all. I got a question about uh, Discover. What you think about Capital One buying Discover? I feel like Capital One buying Discover. I hate Capital One. <laughs> so Discover, I don't like. I don't like Discover no more. You don't like Discover no more? No, I don't like Discover no more. So you you, you gonna cancel your credit card? I'm not gonna cancel my credit cards, but it, but Discover cancel a lot of my clients' credit cards. I don't like Discover no more. The reason why I don't like Discover no more because they start sending people tax forms that they some tax form that people know they don't even know how to even fill out, right? Um, Capital One, Capital One give out high interest rate. So um, Discover is out the book, and the you know the uh, that information that I gave into in that video. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you that they stop they stopped that. They stopped it. So I gave the I gave the game in the last YouTube video telling people if you get this secure credit card, you can keep putting money on the secure credit card. Mm. And then once it's going to get to twenty five hundred, it's going to turn an unsecure credit card. And now you're going to get a credit line increase. So now your first credit card can be thirty five hundred. They literally stopped that. They stopped it. They stopped it. Right. So it's a little it's like you go. That's why with credit, you always want to adapt to like the new system. You always want to adapt to the new system because it's going to be they're going to change a lot of laws like Navy Federal. Navy Federal used to be super easy. Now they started like putting like a lot of like yes to mm -hmm. everything because a lot of people are understanding the game now. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's why, you you know, with, when you get in business credit, it's always good to, you know, add the business trade lines now. Mm. That's why it's very important to add the business trade lines. Before, they used to always say PG, 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 but it's now it's best for you to add business trade lines on your business credit report now because now it's going to guarantee you that you can get more funding and then instead of going with the process of, because when I be I go through funding sequence for all my clients and I always realize, you know, purchasing age corps and adding the business trade lines always give you the maximum funding when it's time to uh, actually run up a bag pretty much. Mm. Super gems. So, so your blueprint is different now? My blueprint is different now. So my blueprint for my fungus sequence is definitely, it's, it's, it's literally kind of like the same sequence of having a 700 plus credit score. That's always important. Um, five plus positive accounts. But now it's very, they're very big on comparable credit now. So now we got to really be precise on what we're doing. We're trying to, like, I tell people don't go to secure a credit card route no more. So you want to go credit builders route. So I, if you do go to a credit card route, go AVA. So AVA can put a $2,500 limit on your credit report. So now you got AVA for your card, right? And then I like to go Stellify. Stellify is an installment loan that you can get up to $25,000. So I know the biggest thing when they come up to credit is limits and history. So I know when I'm looking at my client credit and they don't have enough history, I try, okay, let's backdate some bills or something. So we can back date up to two years because primaries are way more important than trade lines. But I always add the trade lines. So I know, you know, we got to get the AVA, we got to get to Stellify, and we got to get Credit Strong. So Credit Strong and Stellify give you up to $25,000. we are going to go AVA because that's going, and you need a credit mix. So that's why we go on credit cards and installment loans. So AVA is a card. Uh, Stellify and Credit Strong is also installment loans. And then we're going to go two more. So we're going to go with, uh, we either going to go with Kickoff, 
And then we're going to go with um, self. So those are the five plus positive accounts. You want to have that for at least four to six months. Um, I always tell people to open up savings accounts now, right? So I, I began to touch with, um, you know, managers at certain banks. So we like to, uh, before we get the funding, we open up savings accounts. Savings account is very important. Um, even open up like a $200, $300 secure loan with them, mm -hmm. right? Open up that secure loan with that specific bank that you're about to apply because now you got a line of credit with them already and then you open up a savings account. So now you, you, you got two ways of of how they made money from you because credit is all about borrowing money if they can make money from you without you even pouring in action for money first it's a one-win so that's the, like the strategy that i like to go with from a lot of people um i love chase so chase is one of the banks that i like to go with um i definitely got a lot of connects with chase so we can get people 50 to 100 000. i love pinfed because you can get two credit cards with them uh with no inquiry um truest too you can get up to three but they really only going to approve you with two um pinfed and truest they pull from Equifax. Um, Trains Union, I love Navy Federal. I stopped going with them as much because it's, it's like the season right now that we on a break with them. Um, when they come up with our funding sequence because they're not giving the people the high limit funding that I normally get with them. So we kind of giving them a break. Um, GM Financial is another one. So those are kind of like the funding sequence that we go. And then we go get the age court. So we get the personal funding, get an age court. We already have them set up that LLC, but we get the age court and be able to get them the funding at the business trade lines. And then we get the clients a hundred to two hundred thousand just off that. Okay. So that's the that's the big bag. That's how that's that's the full sequence of really like starting from no credit to having great credit and to be able to get personal funding and to be able to get business funding because these these banks they they need comparable credit. So you gotta have two credit cards that got five K or more. If you don't, they don't they're not even gonna give you no high limit of what you're looking for. And these utilizations, clients' utilization be very, very high. So I always sell them to do like a debt consolidation loan to get to um to get that and just have that new positive account in your credit report. So where now, you know, you can actually go through the sequence instead of, you know, waiting seven, eight months to try to pay your credit cards off. So that's pretty much the process that I go with all my clients and we we really just go through the same sequence for every, each and every client to get them to bed. How much is your mentorship? Mentorship right now. So I'm actually doing the my academy. So my academy is my BMC Academy right now. Um, we teaching everything. So my academy is literally gonna be 497. So by the time this video release, my academy should be released. It's coming out March first so with my bnc academy is we teaching you how to uh fix your credit build your credit personal funding business funding the same sequence that i just literally went over we're going to be showing you step by step and i got i'm going to have a lot of investment ideas in there we talking amazon fba we talking real estate we talking credit repair we talking funding business marketing and then i'm bringing special guests in every single month so the 27th of every single month i'm going to be bringing a guest in so someone that's going as someone interested in learning how to do stocks i'm gonna have a guest coming in if someone want to learn how to do real estate i'm gonna have someone that's coming in i'm gonna be paying these entrepreneurs so they can come on my platform so they can teach every all everyone that's in my bmc academy not only that my mentorship um if you get my academy you come to my mentorship my mentorship is only twenty five hundred dollars it's only twenty five hundred dollars to try to make it an affordable price for the people so they can do it and my mentorship i'm literally showing you step by step one on one on literally my three investment ideas that I do that make me literally 50,000 plus a month. So we talking Amazon, FBA, FBA, we talking credit repair, we talking trade lines, we talking funded business. So those pieces of information is literally going to get you to the next level. Um, and then I do installment payments. So if you want to pay 850 for three months, we can get that started with you as well. How many cars you got? So um, I only broker cars now, but right now I only have four. But I, I, I kind of, I'm majority I broker cars, but I'm also getting into, I'm definitely loving the Airbnb game right now. The Airbnb game is going crazy. I'm literally, I got to the point where I'm actually renting out my own, my own apartment right oh, now. Oh, for real? I'm renting out my own apartment. So wow. where do you stay when you- Man, I, listen, I'm staying at my friend's house. <laughs> I'm freaking it out. We go get this buddy. I'm actually, I just applied for a new apartment. Um, I just got approved um, and I'm getting in there i'm i'm thinking like the money is too good right so right now um we already got one we already got two in the same apartment that's going crazy right now so we already got two in the same apartment i had my partner um his name upper echelon so we already got two in the same apartment right now that we're doing i'm literally airbnb my property right now we about to get like literally three more we about to go crazy so we're gonna be looking at a bare minimum twenty thousand plus month by the end of the year going with airbnb game how many airbnbs you got so right now, in total, with all our partners, we got probably like seven. Seven? That's not bad. But we we it's going to it's going to scale real quick. How much you gross in a month with everything? So everything right? Oh, excuse me. 
So everything right now, we literally doing two K plus off each property. Literally. Girl. Two yeah, it's because like the areas that we got downtown, midtown, those are crazy. Okay. It's crazy. So like literally like and then the prices that we got them at, people look at it as like, unbelievable. And the crazy thing, we don't use Airbnb. So I'm gonna give you us a game, right? So uh, do I want to get to the game? All right, look, look, look. So, cause I, I, I don't want them to stop this. I don't want them to stop the game. So, um, but I'm gonna give y'all cool, just. I'm gonna give y'all. So we use Air, we use Airbnb friendly properties, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't use Airbnb. We use Booking.com. We use Verbo. We use all the other sites, right? Because Airbnb they're gonna try to take their twenty percent mm -hmm. from the property. So you know it's Airbnb friendly. How would they know if it's Booking.com or Verbo? They won't know. We tell, my clients say it's Airbnb regardless. Mm -hmm. So when they're coming in, they just say, hey, we give them the K-pad. They go through the process. So guess what? On Verbo.com, on Booking.com, the prices is higher because the people on there, they want to shop. They shop for higher prices. Mm -hmm. So the, the same same property that's on Airbnb for 200 I put up for 350 mm -hmm. on Booking, and I make way more money. So, okay. so that's 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 the that's the game we running right now. And then we got them on. Then we put it on on Smoobu so you don't get overbooked. So Smoobu.com it, it basically put and it give you a website on there. So now you could do private you could do private uh, bookings and give you a private website with Smoobu. So now you got Airbnb. You get private bookings and you also get Verbo and it make sure you don't get overbooked. So you may get booked for the first week with Verbo and then the next week you may get booked for Airbnb and the next week you may get booked for uh, Booking.com. So now you're really running up a crazy bag just by using Smoobu. Mm. So that's what I'm doing. We running up. So now that's why we try to scale to multiple properties because we, we we really see the money in it. And definitely, I'm I'm actually getting into Amazon FBA right now too. You think you be doing? You think you'll be running it up like that if you was in Philly? Or? I feel like I will because then I, now I know like the market. Oh, okay. I feel like I know the market because I know the hot. I know the hot places. I feel like you people really just gotta really know the hot places in the cities. Mm -hmm. um, Philly is a lot of uh, places where people, um, you know, a lot of nurses, a lot of doctors, a lot of um, real estate is crazy in, in, in Philly. So a lot of people be wanting to stay down there in the downtown areas because when I come to Philly, I I book an Airbnb and I be down there for like a week or two and I spend hella money. So I know the people is paying some huge money down there. Would you pay Walla and Gilly seventy five thousand to come on their platform? Uh, I feel like seventy five thousand. I think it's seventy five now. Seventy five k. Uh, it gotta it gotta make sense. I'll pay Bam and Kevo before I pay uh, uh Wallow and Gilly though. Gilly. I pay that. I think uh, Bam and Kevo pay like he his like fifteen fifteen thousand. I pay that fifteen thousand first because he already got the platform. He already got people that that's interested of trying to level up. Mm. Uh, I feel like well uh Gilly and Wallow they they got great information, great you know what they doing. I, I love what they doing, but I feel like you know a lot of people just gotta feel like they gotta go with the shop shopping market a little bit better. If I was a rapper, I'd probably do it. Okay. Or something like that, um, but no, I I'll probably do Bam and Kevin before I do Wallow oh, and Gilly. Gilly. Okay, yeah, seventy five k. I don't it's know. It, it was fifty now, seventy five. I think I got for like I I gotta really see the conversion rate on that to really like see what's going on. But I I definitely Bam and Kevin. I definitely am investing in that super super soon for my academy. My academy, I'm putting a lot of money behind that. You affiliated with OTF? No, but you know, you know, you gotta have very, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm CEO, so I'm a CEO and I'm I'm OTF man. You you know, you got it's only the family, right? So you know, I only want people, I only want the family around me. So you know, a lot of stuff like that, I gotta have, I gotta have certain things tatted on me for who I am and how, what I go by, pretty much. Okay. So you know, OTF, I got CEO, I got the tiger because you know I'm a I'm a real tiger, and I got checkmate on me because you know I'm always one step ahead of everybody. So no matter what you think you're gonna do, I'm always one step ahead. So that's the little test I got on me. <laughs> you got any more questions? Okay. Well, we go, man. Appreciate you for coming, man. Drop yes. some bars. I'm gonna I'm clip up all them bars at the end. A lot of free game. A lot of free game, man. It's a lot of free game. Yo, if y'all um don't know who I am, follow me on all social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, anything. Bam CEO. I'm dropping my BMC Academy, so make sure y'all go check that out. And I'll talk to all y'all soon. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.